In this video, we're going to be talking about a recent scientific study that shines light on something that causes autism um, and how we can look at uh, using that to help prevent autism in children. I'm Craig Kahn. I've got it going on. This is Team Autism Studio. We're dedicated to educating you about autism, how you can improve the lives of people with autism. If you're interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing so you can get our latest videos. So, we don't usually talk about curing autism here on this channel because we look at trying to deal with autism as it is and that. But when I saw this article talking about this study and I looked at the study, it, it showed something that can actually do something to make it so that a child was less likely to get autism. And it's not just some one's thoughts and that. This is something that went through the scientific process, which is what you should look at when you're trying to find something that uh, deals with autism and how to deal with it or, or even help get someone better on it. So well, let's dig into this uh, um, study. So the study, which is linked down below, was uh, done after looking at some data that scientists have known for a while that uh, they've seen that babies that come from C-sections uh, where the, the stomach is uh, open to help the baby get out, those babies uh, are more likely to have uh, autism. So they wanted to see is there something that uh, was connected to that that really led to more people having it? And they found that thing, and that thing is evidently general anesthesia, which is what they use to help keep get the mothers uh, asleep and just not feeling any pain because it's a, a painful procedure. But th this is a good thing because now we know that that one uh, thing can uh, cause autism in some people. It's not something that's going to make give it 100% of the time and the only reason for autism but it's one thing that we know and something that people can take a precaution of uh, there and another great thing is that there's other alternatives that people can do but the the main thing to do with this information if you're pregnant or you know someone who is pregnant is that take the study down below and share it with your doctor if you're pregnant and talk to him about what options you have. Your doctor went to medical school for a number of years and it's important to listen to him. These uh, doctors have studied for years so you should look at them. If he or she says that uh, bleach doesn't cause autism, you definitely should listen to him and that, that shows there. And also if you're not sure on vaccines, you should look and talk about it. You shouldn't just say, I know more than someone who spent most of their life learning about the human body. If you want to uh, hear some arguments and see what the other side is saying, that's one of the smartest things you can do. And if you want some of that, you can click one of the links above because uh, you can look at a video from Dr. Mike, who is a real doctor and has shown, done enough videos talking about uh, vaccines and what. Uh, looking at different people's reactions to them and, t and trying to help people come to terms with that. Hopefully you'll be able to take this information and use it to for your benefit or and someone else's benefit. So don't forget to share it and make sure that people can know this great information and don't forget to also watch another video.